Hey guys, looking back to Insane RC Action. Ian here with you guys today. Um, as you noticed, last week last week's video was the Onyx uh, 245 um, dual balancing charger, LiPo, and pretty much any other nickel metal hydride or any other battery you can possibly think of. Now, today's review, not necessarily an unboxing, but more of a, of a review, is going to be over the Tenergy 1 through 4S, or Cell, mostly S, um, LiPo balancing charger. Now, this can charge LiPo or Life lithium iron, you know, or the, the other lithium batteries. Now, I would recommend this charger for you uh, first time kind of RC LiPo users. Um, now, if you're just wanting to like bash around, have a lot of fun, this would be probably, you know, most likely the charger for you. And for the price, I think, honestly, it does exceptionally well. Um, now, this charger, I happen to have just a couple in stock. Um, it charge, it'll. It'll be about twenty to twenty-five dollars, any, anywhere in that range, depending on like where you're getting it from, where you're ordering it from, which is actually very good because, I mean, I have these just these you know, lipo, uh, they're venom, eleven point one volt, three uh, S lipo, twenty Cs, thirteen hundred milliamp hours, you know, not too big. They they will fit in, in a Revo, um, so and it charges them anywhere from from in like an hour to an hour and a half. Possibly 45 minutes if you just run it down about halfway in your car or a little bit more than halfway um, But yeah, I mean even just these the, I mean this is a bit beat up of course, but even just the big um Still the same power 3s 20 C's, but it's a 6400 milliamp hour battery It'll still recharge just within a good hour and a half two hours max like absolutely max um, So yeah for the price and for how it performs. I honestly think it's it's an exceptional charger now um, yeah, keep watching the review, and we'll explain the different settings, modes, uh, lights, what they mean, and plug imports. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so we have our uh, Tenergy LiPo balancing charger plugged into the wall. And again, it is only DC power. You do not have the AC option like the Onyx 245 does. But, as first thing you notice, you have a green um, light over a power, the word power, meaning it is getting a clean circuit, and there is a good source of power running from the wall to your charger. Now, if you don't have a green light, or potentially is another color like red, meaning that well, that usually means you do not have a good source of power coming through to the charger, or either it's too much or it's not sufficient enough to power the charger and charge your batteries. All right, guys, now as you can see, we actually have many, or not, not a whole lot, but um, a couple of imports or inputs on this charger by itself. Now, if you can see it at this angle, I will prop them up so you can see exactly what it looks like inside the imports or inputs. Sorry, but you have a 2s, one or 2s, depending on kind of kind of what you're using. A either um either pretty much a rock color 1s, 2s, or maybe a heli that you're running a one or 2s lap on. You know, depending on whatever you're doing, it's pretty much helpful for these kind of things. Now, the next one would be a two I think okay the first one I think is 1s the second is 2s now the third one like I plug this battery in there is a 3s lipo and that's kind of what most of your lipos are going to run, run off of unless you have a bigger um, 4s battery and that's pretty much the last port is a 4s battery right there now if you all can see these um, inputs better let me get them in the camera so you have your 2s on the very right and then going up uh, well, 1s sorry on the very right then going up to 2 Three and eventually 4s. Now let's we'll check back and see what the charger looks like when the battery is done charging and the light is green. Alright guys, now on to the options. Now on this charger, as you can see, you have a LiPo choice. If you can give y'all can read that. It says uh well, it says LiPo or Life. Now you pretty much to switch between them, all you're gonna want to do is take the switch and switch it down to life or up to LiPo. Now I am running LiPo batteries while charging, um, or you're using LiPo batteries on this charger. And for instance, whenever you take a battery, to say the 3S, the Venom 3S I was showing you guys earlier, now when I what happens when I plug it in is, um, first off you get a red light. And basically, what this red light means is the battery is not fully charged, or it needs more charge. Now. A red light, this is not a blinking, but it's just a solid red light is good. That means the battery, or the LiPo in this case, is not run down too far, it's not corrupted or corroded, and it's charging properly until the light turns green. 
Now, when this light turns to green, to match the power um, light, that's, that's when you know the battery is done charging. And these batteries should be somewhat charged. Um, and I will come back to show you whenever it turns green to show you what it looks like. Alright, now guys, now our battery is done charging. And as you can see, the light is on green. And now I'll give you a close-up view of what it looks like when the battery is fully charged. Now, you already saw exactly what it looked like when the battery was still charging. Or, um, yeah, it was still charging. Now let's see what, what it looks like um, close up when the battery is officially done charging. So, let's give it a look. Now, as you can see, both lights are green. And you still have a good current of power running through this charger. And it's still on the LiPo setting. And, again, we are using the Venom 1300 milliamp hour, 11.1 volt, 20C, or 3S LiPo. And, again... It is done charging. It took about maybe an hour at the most. Alright guys, so that's that for the um, Tenergy 1-4S through 4S, uh, LiPo balancing charger. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time here on Insane RC Action. Thanks for watching.